Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence, and by Dow Automotive Systems, innovations for clean powertrain solutions. Hello again, this is Auto Line Daily for Monday, April 11th, 2011. You guess it, I'm Scott Burgess, and I'm glad to be gainfully employed once again at the one, the only, the Detroit News. McElroy's out for the entire week. He's on a business trip to Taiwan. Good luck with the jet lag, John. Anyway, here's what's happening in the automotive world. Saab had to stop production several times in the last few weeks due to the disputes with suppliers over getting paid. But now it looks like the company will get the cash it needs. According to Bloomberg, Spiker Cars, which owns Saab, will sell the Swedish automaker to a company owned by Russian billionaire Vladimir Antonov. It will then lease it back. The deal still needs approval from the Swedish government, which could make a decision today. But this is good news for Saab because it looks like it was headed to bankruptcy and if it didn't get the funds it needed, it would have gone there. The French government is ratcheting up pressure on Renault again for its role in the espionage hoax. According to Bloomberg, the country's finance minister is calling for the resignation of anyone at Renault involved in the case. The company plans on holding a board meeting today to address the issue and it will release a statement afterward. The French government is Renault's largest shareholder with a 15% stake in the company. The auto industry is facing a shortage of engineers. According to my paper, the Detroit News, new fuel economy mandates are spurring automakers and suppliers to develop more fuel efficient powertrains. And as a result, they're hiring hundreds of engineers. Because of the transformation to EVs, hybrids, and lighter vehicles, more students are expected to take engineering jobs in the auto industry because of the cutting edge technology and the potential for environmental impact. Kia won its first race. The South Korean automaker competes in the Grand Am Continental Tire Sports Car Challenge Series. The company is partnered with a Georgia-based racing outfit called Kinetic Motorsports. This is the second year participating in its first podium finish. It's running heavily modified Forte Coupes, heavily modified. Right now, its number 10 car is ranked second in the street tuner team standings. Not bad for a company that's never raced before. Ford has found a new use for old carpet. The company is taking advantage of the product called Ecolon to make plastic cam covers for some of its engines. The material is a nylon based resin that is made from 100% recycled carpeting. Ford estimates its use of this substance has prevented about 4.1 million pounds of floor covering from ending up in landfills. That's about 154 football fields worth of carpet. It's also saved some 430,000 gallons of oil in the process. Look for these green camp covers, actually they're black, under the hood of the Escape, Mustang, Fusion, and F-150. We found this wacky article on Autoblog. A couple from Richmond Hill, Ontario, that's in Canada, posted a video on YouTube of a John Deere tractor. Okay, big deal, except for the fact that this thing was running amok in a Walmart parking lot. It practically looks like a movie trailer when Farm Implements Attack, Part 9. The green and yellow rig was used for plowing snow, but it was stuck running in circles for some unknown reason. On its rampage, it smacked into the side of a building and demolished a Suzuki SX4 and a Toyota Corolla. After what seems like forever, someone finally gets enough courage to climb aboard to try to put a stop to the mayhem. It ended all right when the tractor smashed into a light pole. Coming up next, why I really resigned and went back to the news. Stick around. Introducing Bridgestone's third generation of run-flat tires with groundbreaking new Bridgestone technologies. Bridgestone run-flat tires offer improved ride comfort, lower rolling resistance, and improved wear while giving you the peace of mind and comfort you need. Hi, so here's a scoop. That whole big fiasco about me leaving the Detroit news and returning pretty much happened the way you read about it. But I want to take this opportunity to simply thank everyone who offered me support during the incident. I can tell you that all the notes and phone calls of encouragement helped immensely, as well as created a $300 phone bill. I'm still writing people two weeks after returning to the paper. And if you wrote or called, eventually I hope to return a sincere thank you. However, I was disturbed to learn how many people applied for my job as soon as I stepped down. I get it, it's a tough economy, but sheesh, my body was still warm. For those people, including the ones who sent resumes and references, I just wanted to say, the job is taken.
And that's it for today. Again, I'm Scott Burgess, still of the Detroit News. For all of my latest vehicle reviews, check out our website, debtnews.com. Also, visit my Facebook page at facebook.com slash debtnewsdrive. Once again, the URL is facebook.com slash debtnewsdrive. Like me, please. And with that, thanks to all of you out there watching and listening. I'll catch you next time.